Google just dropped a new programming language, which could drastically change the way developers interact with databases, so we really need to talk about it. Mangle is a programming language built to handle the kind of scattered, inconsistent data you actually deal with in real modern systems. Most companies today are drowning in logs, config files, API responses, or outdated spreadsheets. And none of these data sources speaks the same language. Mangle lets you pull all of that into a single logic layer where you can ask clear structured questions and get precise answers. It's built on top of Datalog, which is an expressive logic programming language that's been around since the early 1980s. In Datalog, instead of writing step-by-step -step instructions like in Python or Java, you define facts and rules, and then you ask queries based on these structures. The system figures out the answers by applying those rules to the facts you've given it. What makes Datalog special is its declarative, recursive nature. This means it can follow chains of relationships like family trees, supply chains, or software dependencies without you manually coding each step. Mangle takes this idea and supercharges it for modern, messy data, adding things Datalog never had like aggregations, function calls, and the ability to pull from multiple databases and APIs at once. It comes packed with features like recursive rules, which let you handle things like finding every subcomponent in a complex bill of materials, mapping routes through a network, or tracing the chain of dependencies in a production system without writing a hundred nested queries. And, because Mangle can reach into multiple data sources at the same time, you don't have to normalize everything into a single database before you can work with it. You can query across your Postgres cluster, an API feed, and some random JSON dump from a deprecated service, all in one consistent syntax. This is the basis of an emerging and potentially disruptive concept called deductive database programming. The idea is that we get the tools that allow us to represent data in a uniform way, so we can bring in and consume information from various sources seamlessly. This approach has huge implications for use cases where information is scattered in different formats and systems. Next, let's see the power of Mangle in practice. For a basic Hello World example, imagine you were asked to spot software affected by the Log4j vulnerability discovered in late 2021. So we want to look for projects that contain a Java dependency of log4j that is not updated to the patched version. And, to do that, we can run a mangle rule that retrieves all projects that make the sub-goal true. To give you a better understanding of this rule, the same operation in SQL would look like this. For a more advanced example, let's say you are doing a live variable analysis, which is a classic step in compiler optimization. The idea is to figure out which variables still hold values that might be used later so you can optimize memory usage or detect bugs. In traditional compilers, you'd hard-code this analysis in your language of choice with lots of loops, conditionals, and bookkeeping. In Mangle, however, you can express the entire logic as a small set of facts and rules. First, you define the relationships in your program. Edge shows the flow from one program point to the next, define marks where a variable is assigned, and use marks when a variable is read. As for the rules, a variable is live at a point if it's used at that point or if there's a path to a successor where that variable is live. Now, if we feed Mangle a small Rust snippet with a borrow checker issue, it will figure out automatically which variables are live at each point in the control flow. This is the strength of deductive database programming. Whether you're doing compiler analysis, graph traversal, or cross-system data integration, you can simply describe what the relationships are and let the engine figure out how to compute them. But what's more interesting is that people have been exploring enhanced ways of querying data for a long time. Tools like Prequel or Apache Drill have all tried to make it easier to work across multiple data sources and express more complex questions. Prequel, for instance, lets you run SQL-like queries across different databases without having to manually move the data into one place. You could have a customer table in MySQL, transaction logs in Postgres, and analytics data in BigQuery, and still write a single query that joins them together as if they were all in the same system. But the difference is that tools like Prequel still operate in a query-first mindset where you send a request, the engine fetches and shapes the data, and you get the result back. Deductive database programming, and by extension Mangle, adds another layer into the mix. Now the data is analyzed, relationships are interpreted, and results are inferred. So Mangle is closer to having a reasoning engine built directly into your query language, which changes how you approach problem solving entirely. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thank you for watching.